But we begin right now with that big announcement from Mayor Dave Bing. The mayor announcing he will not seek another term, instead revealing a political surprise. Mayor Bing is here live in our studios to talk about his decision and his political future. We sit down with the mayor in just a moment. But first, let's go to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell with the mayor's announcement and the impact on the region. I'm announcing today that I have decided not to seek another term as mayor of Detroit. However, I've been approached and will establish an exploratory committee to examine other political options, including the office of Wayne County Exec. Today, people heard Detroit Mayor Dave Bing make a surprising announcement and had a wide range of reactions. Would you vote for him for Wayne County Executive? Sure, I would. Sure, I would. We need some new, we need some new, some new meat in in the executive office anyway. Because, God bless Picano. I don't want him to run for nothing. Not even dog catcher. They need to get rid of him. Walk him out the city and tell him good rhythms. He'll probably do what he did with the petitions and decide not to run. Detroit City Councilwoman Santil Jenkins says folks should not get too worked up one way or another. The race for Wayne County Executive is a long way away. That seems to be the response current Wayne County Executive Robert Ficano was giving. He released a statement saying, quote, the filing deadline is still a year out, and that's a lot of time before real decisions need to be made. People who were here for the announcement are all people who were close to the mayor, and they were disappointed to hear that he is not running for re-election as mayor of Detroit, but say it's promising that he's looking to possibly run Wayne County. And we're shocked and devastated that he's willing to throw in the towel, but we're also excited about the fact that he's willing to stick around and help us uh, by way of the, the county executive's office. Detroit sits within Wayne County, and and uh, I'm sure that there would be some things that he could do that would help us help this situation as well. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And joining us live in studio right now is Mayor Dave Bing. Good to have you with us tonight, Mayor. Good to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Talk to us first about why. Why the decision today? Was it the announcement of an EM? Is it because of how the process has been going? What was behind this? Well, it was a lot of family. Um, my, my, my daughters in particular. Um, who love me, um, you know, all of the negative things that you have to deal with in politics, uh, you know, it hurts them, I think, because uh, they know a lot of it isn't true. Um, you know, my wife is, is the same, but she is born and raised in Detroit, and um, I think she had mixed emotions. But for me, um, I don't think I want to continue to work 70 or 80 hours a week. And if you're a mayor of a major city, I mean, that's part of the deal. You don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need to back off a little bit. I think I've bought myself some time. There, there are things that still need to happen in the city of Detroit. We're not out of the woods yet. Mayor, you, you sound like somebody who wants to leave politics altogether, but during your press conference today, you said, I quote you, you've been approached to pursue other opportunities, including Wayne County Executive. So why move on to something else when you're in a political position in the largest city in Michigan anyway? Well, it, it really boils down, can you help? And uh, I think when I came into this position as mayor, I did it for one reason and one reason only. I thought I could make a difference. I think with my team, we have made a difference. A lot of tough decisions that we've had to make, but those decisions had to be made and should have been made a long time ago. They're still, as we look at, you know, Wayne County, uh, got a lot of the same issues that we had in the city of Detroit. And the four years that I've had in the city of Detroit, I think has uh, opened my eyes up to some of the things that possibly we can transfer if, in fact, I go over to Wayne County. But, but, go ahead, Joy. I was just going to say, you heard one of the Detroit residents there say that, you know, I'm devastated that he's throwing in the towel. There is the perception by some that you're kind of quitting before the job is done and that you're throwing in the towel. How do you respond to that? Um, I had four years um, to you know, to, to lead the city from the mayoral position. Actually, it's four years and seven months. I just finished four years on May 9th, so I've got another seven months to go. That's not throwing in the towel. Um, I've got another seven months to work. I'm going to work for those seven months. Uh, but, you know, I said from the beginning, I didn't think that you could fix Detroit's problems in one term. And that's still true. I don't think you can fix it in two terms. It was 40 years or more getting where we are. So we've set a roadmap, in my opinion, 
opinion to fix a lot of the issues to move forward. And whether it's the emergency manager or another mayor who can take it to the next level, I will support that. But, but you said not in one term, maybe not in two terms, to fix the problems with the city, but there are no term limits for mayor. So why didn't you stay long enough to enjoy the spoils of what you were working for? Well, I didn't, I didn't come into the position um, to, to worry about my ego. I mean, I came in here to try to help. I think I've done that. And if somebody can do a better job, whether it's the EM or another mayor, I'm a team player. So move out of the way and let somebody else do their thing. You mentioned team player, and you've kind of said that all along, even when you were opposed to the EM coming in, but you said you're going to, going to work with them. You said in your press conference two different times today, you said, I have to wonder if the state is truly interested in a partnership. And you wondered also aloud how the state defines the word partnership. What have you seen in this process over the last couple of months that you don't feel like maybe the state is living up to their end of the bargain? Well, you know, one of the things we all have to do, and I think you as reporters need to go back and look and say, what has the state done to help Detroit over the last year, two years? Um, and, and do your own research and do your own homework on that. There are things that they could have done. They could have taken Bell out and moved Bell out forward. They didn't do it because they said, we didn't want that. Mm -hmm. Well. We didn't want an emergency manager, but they did that to us. Um, when you look at what's happening in the water and sewage department in Flint and Genesee County, um, they're going to they give them the opportunity to build their own water and sewage system. Uh, that's going to take about 6% of the revenue from the Detroit water system. That's going to hurt Detroit. Uh, when you look at what happened with DDOT uh, from a transportation standpoint, they took $7 million. So that's not a big number, but to DDOT, that's a lot of money. So they didn't have to do that. They could have done those things to help Detroit. There are a lot of other things that I can enumerate, but right now I'll just use those three examples. Mayor, uh, this seems to be a trend. You're, you're not going to run for for election uh, the president Charles Pugh said he's not going to run for election we have breaking news that happened just a few minutes ago that Gary Brown is not going to run for election of course Ken Cockrell stepped down so what is the reason why this trend continues in Detroit is it the media spotlight is it too tough of a job what's is there a lot of gridlock what's the reason well it is a tough job no doubt about it and I don't think any of us come into these jobs thinking that we're going to make a lot of money because that's not what drives us, in my opinion. When you look at um, all of us who came from the outside, Ken's a little different because he had 16 years on the council. So maybe it was time for him to look right. at something else. But for those of us who came in, we came in at the very worst time in the history of Detroit. The financial situation is, is, is the worst we've ever lived through. And it's not going to be easy uh, to, to make some changes. And then you've got, a, a, I think, a lot of things that are in play right now that gets you to fight against against each other instead of working together. And I don't want to continue to fight. But isn't because, that a part of politics, though? Well, mm -hmm. does that make it right? No, it yeah. doesn't, but that's <laughs> politics. I mean. Well, but I, you know, I'm not, I didn't get into this from a political position. I got in it because I thought I could make a difference, and I've done that. We, Mayor, we, we, are, we are out of time, but in, in ready to endorse anyone yet? Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. I didn't think so, but I had to ask. <laughs> but you don't to call when that happens. Yeah, you, you, you brought a lot of integrity back into City yes, Hall. We wish you the best of success the in best. the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Mayor,